What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today we're going to open up a Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Crossroads of Chaos box for you guys. So yeah, let's hunt down a Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon, right? <laughs> that brings back memories. But yeah, I got another one of these boxes, and you know what? Let's see if we can get a Ghost Black Rose Dragon. I definitely would be fine with that. More rare cards than ever, is what it says even on it. So let's hope that's <laughs> gonna mean that we have some awesome cards in this. This is obviously one of my favorite sets, too. And also, too, in case people are wondering, I got this from Big and Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. Link in the description. I know I've seen a lot of you guys say that you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds openings. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot of different ones planned because of that. I always listen to the comments on that, so if you guys have any other, you know, requests on different openings, let me know. There we go. And let's see what we can get. I need to get like a Dolus Genesis box. That'd be a lot of fun. Let's see. Start off first pack. Not guaranteed hollows, by the way. And yeah, <laughs> you don't even get a hollow per pack or nothing. So we will see. I always feel like I should say that because of all the new openings. Coffee plant. And we have Iron Chain Repair Man. And Red Ochre. Well, starting off with a hollow. That's pretty good. Trying to go against everything I said, huh? <laughs> but no, that's awesome to get a super rare. Good way to start off the opening. It's been a while since I've seen that card. It's pretty much that way with all these cards. It's It's been a little bit. One of the Morphtronics. Cameron. Stormcaller. Rare. Morphtronic Engine. That's kind of cool. And Gadget Driver. I miss the Morphtronics. I feel like they could really easily get a Link Monster and it could make a difference for them. They were really good there for a while. They just kind of need an update, really. Let me make sure it focus. There we are. I have Psychic Life Transfer. This is a pretty good synchro back. That was one of our first synchros. And Morphtronic Cellphone. It's one of the best commons. And even the White Stone of Legend. That's still pretty usable nowadays. Especially with Blue Eyes and the Link Freebo shenanigans. Let's see. More Iron Chain Monsters. Uh, more Tronic Accelerator. Remember that being a pain to get back then for me. So that's good. And Puppet Master. Oh man, that's another card I haven't seen in quite a while. I remember being a little bit creeped out by this card. And it is kind of scary. Uh, although I'm not a fan of puppets. So maybe that's why. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really... Terrifying, and uh, he's losing a few teeth. Not the best day for him. Hopefully he didn't hate the dentist. I know I certainly do. Come on, Ghost Black Rose. That's all I'm thinking about, really, the whole time. We need to hunt down another Ghost Rare, like we did for this one. Paralyzing Chain for a Rare. All different chain cards. Finally see how many there are. I guess, yeah, Iron Chain Dragon, I guess, is actually in this, so... Maybe we'll get him. He was actually a pretty good synchro for back then, too. Uh, first off, Mad Archfiend. Rare. Gadget Driver. Comrade Swordsman of Lancer. I always thought that was cool. They brought him back. Like, he became an effect monster and, uh... Kind of an alright card. I mean, at least he had an effect. Need to bring out the other Landstar monsters. Joey ended up using some of the other ones. Like Musketeer of Landstar, I think, and a few others. I forget all their names. Cursed Fig. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we have Morphtronic Boombox in. That's a good rare to get. Remember trying to hunt those down too, and uh, Radeon, I think, was the other one. The other Morphtronic. You get them on the field. They were pretty annoying to deal with. <laughs> Datatron. If you remember, too, this was actually a lighter for Japan. For us, it's supposed to be a hard drive, I think, technically. Goes and match. That's really good. Oh, we're trying to grade on. There we go. Speak of the devil. There he is, right after. It's funny on some of those sensors. Yeah, lighters are evil, I guess. Sure. Not like he was setting anyone on fire. But whatever. See? They're all on fire, but that's okay. Makes sense. A uh, search striker for a rare. Man, we're not seeing any other hollows. Come on, hard the cards. Let's let's get a hollow out of one of these. 
It's been too long. We got two supers so far, which is awesome. But let's see another holographic. Then a checkup. A miracle fertilizer, rare. And aw. Oh, for a second, I thought maybe we'd get a holo because I said something. <laughs> Didn't work that time. Only two more packs, I think, for the rats out of the box. Come on, it has to have at least one more hollow on that side. Goes in match. That's still a really good common, by the way. Like I said earlier. The World Tree. Power Injector. All these different psychic monsters, too. And the last pack for the rats out of the box. Come on, it has to have something. Let's see. Another one of card rotation. A Prideful Roar for a rare. And uh, unfortunately did not have hollow, but we did get more Tronic Self on. That's kind of cool. Now for the left side of the box. Come on, hard the cards. Help us out here. I guess all the good cards are on the left side. Or the majority. Hope that's the case. We'll see. A virus cannon for a rare and a mark of the rose ultimate rare <laughs> that's awesome we got an ultimate rare too yeah it's been a while since i've seen an ultimate rare card <laughs> it feels like because yeah we just don't get them from the main sets anymore so that is awesome i always thought this card had cool artwork too it's like vampire lord and he has like that uh rose tattoo on him I guess the mark of the rose yeah <laughs> but yeah anyway uh that looks awesome so i you know what we got an ultimate rare this might mean we, we're not going to get a ghost right now, though, too. Remember, that's how it kind of used to be, where you would almost get one or the other? I don't know. We'll see. Don't want to ruin anyone's dreams on that. Hopefully, we still have a few ultra rares and stuff, though. Mosaic Manticore. I think we at least got another hollow there. Start to get a little worried. Goes in match. We're going to have more in a place out of those pretty easily. Turbo Synchron. And a Hanawada. There we go. There's another super rare for us. This card's kind of neat. I mean, it's a tuner monster. One of the older tuner monsters. Kind of funny to see. And I, I like the older holographic, too. Just really simple. Yet it's kind of like a... What does he remind me of? Um, oh, what's the card? It, it's not Karibo. But the, the one from the movie, I can't think of his name right now. Waterpond. That's the name. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what he reminds me of. I knew I would think of it eventually. But yeah, it does look like a card Yugi would use. Oh, okay. Two of Healing Wave Generators. That's weird. Um, we're trying to Gradeon. And Time Machine! Uh, did it go back in time and give us two Healing Wave Generators? Is that what happened there? Secret Rare, though. I think we actually got this recently, too, from... Or the last time we did uh, Crossroads of Chaos opening. It's a pretty cool card. I remember this... Uh, was it like... It was like in one of the old episodes, like original series. That's pretty neat. I remember thinking it was cool that they printed it. Yeah, I think that was our previous opening, though. We got one of those. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I always forget what Secret Rares are in this set. Because I only think about Black Rose Dragon. So we still haven't seen any Ultra Rares. So that's the only thing that kind of worries me. So let's see. Goes and match. Uh, Search Striker. And Rose Warrior of Revenge. Right after I ask. Here's one of our Ultra Rares. This was a Sync Preview card too, by the way. And in my opinion, I think it was one of the best Sync Preview cards we ever got. Because it's a level 4 tuner monster that doesn't have a downside to it. Like, seriously, back then, that was that was actually a really good thing like that because most of the time, if you had a tuner monster that was, you know, level 4 or anything like that, um, it had some kind of huge downside to it. Like, you could only go for this synchro monster or different things, you know? So, uh, this was honestly one of our best tuner monsters we had at the beginning. I remember actually, I forget what deck it was, but I remember using this card a lot in there. I think it was like a reinforcement of the army with it, of course, because you could search for it. And I forget everything on that. I don't think it was like my Flame Cat build. With Rescue Cat. That was pretty fun, too. Cursed Fig. The most terrifying card in this set. Apollonosis. And Battle Mania. Well, there we go. Another super rare for us. It's pretty cool. And yeah, we have about a fourth of the box left, I would say. 
trying to think what else we could be missing. Well, that pack just rips like that. Uh, I guess we can still get an Ultra Rare. That's about all I can think of. We'll see. Uh, Trap of the Imperial Tomb. And Black Rose Dragon. I knew it had to be. I saw Synchro Monster, and I saw that it had, you know, be at the starting of it, so it had to be Black Rose Dragon. That is just awesome. Unfortunately, it's not the Ghost Rare. Who cares? We got an Ultra Rare. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, next time, we'll hunt down the Ghost Rare, right? I might have to try that again just because. Although, we might need to hunt down, like, Stardust next or, or something. I, I don't know. Let me know in the in the comments down below what should be the Ghost Rare that we hunt for uh, next time. But I, I'm still happy to always get a Black Rose Dragon, one of my favorites. And I still remember getting an Ultimate Rare version of it uh, at the Sneak Preview back then, too. So, that's still one of my favorite cards. So, we got our Ultra Rares and everything. I'm happy now with this box. I was worried at the beginning. But when you get Black Rose Dragon, I mean, that's enough to make this box worth it, in my opinion. I don't know if there's any other hollows we can get or what. Cactus Fighter? We might have gotten everything. But let's see. I guess there's still a chance for our Ghost Rare. <laughs> Nettles. Oh, I always thought its name was funny. Have Iron Chain Repair Man. And Black Garden! Okay, we did have another holo. That's a good holographic to get, too. That's actually really awesome. So there we go. It's one of the better super rares of the set. It gained some hype kind of recently, so that's awesome. Oh, I got two packs. There. Just need one right there. <laughs> Iron Chain Blaster. Still didn't get Iron Chain Dragon. Like I said, I think he's in the set. Stormcaller, rare. And two packs left. Let's see. Now I think we do have all of our hollows. But I wouldn't mind getting another one. Just saying. Tiger Dragon for a rare. I thought he was pretty cool looking too. I mean, it's a tiger and a dragon combined. How is that not cool? And last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. I gotta say it. I just have to. And let's see. DNA checkup. What else do we have here? And we got Iron Chain Dragon. Okay, I thought it was in this set. We got one as a rare. And you know what? That's about as good as a hollow to me. So yep, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Here's kind of a recap of everything. We had some pretty good luck. I mean, we got our Ultra Rares finally, which I'm happy on that. Black Rose especially. I mean, come on, that's awesome. Time Machine, even an Ultimate Rare. And uh, yeah, I think we did pretty well from this box. So hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll go for another like Ghost Rare hunt at some point soon. Like I said, just tell me uh, which one I should go for. If you guys have like a, a fun idea, let me know. And uh, yeah, be sure to uh, leave a comment on that. And also, what are the openings you would like to see? Uh, hit the like button too if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, open up new products, and of course, nostalgic openings like today. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.